these are the tools that we'll need for replacing and adjusting the Z-Arm drive on your ASX 400 or 500 series auto sampler. In this video we're going to look at replacing and adjusting the Z-Arm drive on your auto uh, sampler, your, either your ASX 400 or ASX 500 series. Sometimes this peak tubing uh, can get damaged and needs replacement. So the first thing we're going to do is turn off the instrument and then we'll loosen the thumb screw on the back linkage wheel so that we can remove the peak tubing. Okay, what we'll do here is we'll remove the probe set it aside and also remove the Z-arm mount. Pull that off. Make sure you don't lose that screw that holds on the probe. Pull the slide all the way down to the bottom. And now we should be able to pull that peak tubing from the sleeve. Now we need to cut the peak tubing out of its uh, clamp, so we need a pair of side cutters. We'll cut that at the top, pull it out from the top, and then we'll need to get a pair of needle nose and get in there and pull that other piece out. Okay, now I'm going to take my new piece of peak tubing and compare it to my old piece. and make sure that it's just a little bit longer than the old piece that I took out. Cut it to length if necessary. We'll then take the new peak tubing and slide it through the sleeve on this Z-arm drive. and it should come out over here on the block and we need to make sure that it feeds into that groove on the wheel. So we'll continue sliding that all the way in and around the wheel. Now we need to crimp the new peak tubing into the slider. So I'll run the peak tubing into this, uh, this linkage. I'll take a pair of needle nose pliers and a couple of ways to do this. We'll crimp it first in the middle. You'll have to apply a bit of pressure and try to get a crimp on both sides of that gap. Now as added uh, uh, holding power you could also crimp the bottom and also crimp the top and that will hold that peak tubing in place. You should have very little play at this point on the peak tubing going through this slider. I'm now going to replace the slider back onto the Z-arm and when you bring it down towards the end you may have to lift these bushings up a little bit to get them on the little block. And then screw them back in with your nylon screws. We'll take the sample probe and feed it through the slider and make sure you also feed it through the locking nut. take this slider all the way to the top and feed the probe just a couple of millimeters through the end of the um, hole there on the um, on the sliding block. Okay and finally we need to adjust the height of the probe holder on the Z-arm and to do that we first need to take this 
wheel and turn it all the way back such that the stop hits on this plate in the back. So once that stop is all the way around, we then take the probe holder and slide it up to within about two or three millimeters from the cap. We have the uh, probe holder and the stop in place. We can then now tighten the set screw on the peak tubing. We now want to make sure that this uh, two pieces are together, so we'll rotate the, the wheel, rotate it back up, and you see that we have a two, three millimeter gap from the top. We now to make, need to make one final adjustment, and that is to adjust the probe with respect to the hole down here. And so we'll loosen the set screw on the probe, pull it up so that the probe is sticking out about two or three millimeters through the hole and tighten the set screw.